Hello everyone out there and welcome back to my channel for my second moto vlog. Uh, I want to start by saying thank you very much for all the views on the first video. It's inspired me to uh, put more content out there and I figured hey why not start from the beginning? Why not start with day one of becoming a motorcycle officer? Um, I want to start by saying this is not an instructional video but just a video to show you guys how we take cops riding motorcycles and turn them into motorcycle cops. The Yonkers Police Motorcycle School is a 10-day course and it includes students and instructors from all throughout the tri-state area but it's run by the Yonkers Police Department. It's a basic motorcycle school but I don't want the term basic to throw you off. Uh, it's just basic in the sense of police motorcycle operation. Uh, there's different courses out there, uh, advanced courses and those are typically for guys who have gone through a basic course and then are going to become instructors. Uh, and that's where they where they go to uh, advanced courses but this is a basic one but very challenging uh, nonetheless uh, just like most things uh, it starts off in the classroom uh, the school is a com combination of classroom cone courses and field rides and uh, first day we're in the classroom we're having everybody introduce themselves we're introducing ourselves we're getting kind of the boring but necessary stuff out of the way the rules of the track uh, you know, a safety inspection on the motorcycles, what to expect, and uh, all things like that. And uh, once we get through with that, it's right downstairs to, to doing a very important thing, um, inspecting your, your motorcycle prior to, uh, to riding it. And that's something that all of us should always be doing, not just motorcycle officers, but just everybody who rides a motorcycle. Uh, you know, it's, it's very important to check the tire pressure, uh, if, see if there's any objects in the tires, uh, the, your lights functioning. There's a whole checklist, I'm not going to go through it all right now, but that you should be doing checking your motorcycles. Um, there's obviously some added things when it's a police motorcycle, the emergency lights and the sirens to, to, to name a couple, um, but very necessary uh, to do this. And we have the officers do this every day before they go out onto the track. And uh, right after that, it's, it's, it starts going. We're, we're, we're on the motorcycles and we're headed to the, heading to the track. And uh, the first things first is, is uh, we have the officers drop the motorcycles and pick the motorcycles up. We want to show them uh, how to do that, give them the confidence uh, that they can pick up the motorcycles. The motorcycles are going to be dropped throughout the school. It just happens. Thank God for the, for the uh, crash bars, the engine guard and the, and the uh, crash bars. They, they save the motorcycles. Uh, they, don't, they don't receive uh, really any body damage uh, at low speeds when you put the bikes down. Uh, we show them how to, how to fall off the motorcycles, how to step off the motorcycles, and then also how to pick up the motorcycles here. Uh, you're going to see them. They're, they're putting their butts into those seats. They're getting into kind of a squat position, and they're walking the motorcycles uh, back. You know, uh, to start though, I, I forgot an important part. You want to make sure the motorcycle is off, and then you get into that position. You walk the motorcycle back. If the kickstand is on the high side, you want to kick the kickstand out and just push the motorcycle back onto the kickstand. If it's on the low side, as you walk it up, you stand it up, and then you use one foot and you put the kickstand out, and you, you rest it down onto the uh, onto the kickstand. And uh, we have them do that a couple times. And then it's off to a very, very basic exercise um, that you'll see at the most basic motorcycle schools. Uh, and, and not just police motorcycle schools, I'm talking about civilian, every sort of motorcycle school. It's, it's the board hop exercise. Very important exercise. We put an inch and a half board in front of, uh, in front of the motorcycles and we have, uh, have you mount the, mount the board. It's uh, kind of, it's showing you uh, where the friction zone is. Um, you're not gonna be using any brake. You're using very little throttle just enough to mount the board and then when you get on there you, you pull the clutch all the way in and then you roll down and then you do it again um, if you let the clutch all the way out obviously your bike is your motorcycle is going to keep going you're going to go right over the board and if you don't put it out at all when you're starting you're just going to be revving revving that engine so you're just going up and just going down up and down up and down and you're going to do that you want to learn that friction zone of the motorcycle that's where we're going to be living for the next 10 days so it's an important exercise uh, it's important to know where that where those where those clutch plates are, are, are engaging and, and uh, getting the motorcycle giving power to that back wheel and pushing that motorcycle forward um, after that it's off to the point to point exercise um, the point to point exercise is where now you start you're learning of, of locking those handlebars kind of an unnatural feeling um, a lot of people have never done that where you're locking the handlebars to the frame uh, either direction depending on which way you're going uh, so you're gonna be locking those handlebars as well as uh, head and eyes uh, you know you're gonna be 
uh, your shoulders, your head, your eyes, you're, you're going to be looking where you want to go, not where you're going. Um, that's that's a that's a common mistake that people will make, and we want to we want to break that habit. We want to you know look where you want to go, not where you're going. And uh, we have them duck walk the bike, get into the friction zone, and duck walk the bike around, and show that they can they can get through the obstacle without leaning the bike over at all. But you have to have the handlebars locked. Uh, that's the important thing right there, and stuff as well as the head and eyes. And uh, it's important to mention, this is the only exercise when the bike motorcycle is moving that we're going to let them put their feet on the ground. Um, when the motorcycle is moving, uh, one of the worst things to do is put your feet on the ground. That's how you get hurt. That's how you break an ankle, uh, break a foot, uh, tear an ACL. It happens. Uh, so this is the only exercise that we're, we're going uh, to let them do that, uh, just, to, just to learn and to build some confidence. And uh, after that... We put those two exercises kind of together and we put them into the U-turn box. Now, the U-turn box is, you know, you're going to start to see people uh, dropping the motorcycle here. Um, you're going to, you're going to, uh, it's about 22 feet wide. So you're going to have to lean the motorcycle over a little bit. Um, and it's going to start, your counterbalance comes into effect here, your head and eyes, the friction zone. Uh, using a little bit of that back brake now, you're going to be feathering that back brake a little bit. Uh, so you're going to be putting a lot of stuff together here, right here, and uh, it's just to start to build the confidence. We can put the cones out a little bit, or or push them in a little bit. But this is this is just an introduction um, to things. Uh, it gets a lot more difficult, uh, but just this this is just the first half of of day one. And uh, the the U-turn box leads into other things like the figure eight, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put more videos out there um, uh, with the more technical. I'm, I'm gonna pr cover each cone course uh, individually in the upcoming videos. Uh, the the figure eight, the Vandy, the the single serp, the double serp, just to name a few. Um, but this one is just it's just a beginner uh, a beginner exercise, and everything progresses very quickly from this point once we get them doing this it's off to to the other exercises and and things move quickly so uh that's pretty much uh the first half of day one like i said and uh i'm gonna continue to put some more stuff out there i'm gonna develop hopefully uh around every two weeks i'll have a video out there ready for you guys and uh I hope you and en you enjoy. You continue to like, continue to subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification button on here, uh, so you're notified when a new video comes out. And uh, until then, you know, just everybody get out there, ride safe, and uh, check your mirrors. All right, have a good day. Bye.